All right, hey, welcome to Flipper's Reef. And today, I went to the store and had to buy another heater. What'd I get? An Aquion Pro. Now, I've been using these heaters for some time. Uh, they've had uh, good reviews, if you read about them. And, um, I've had very good luck with them over the years. Uh, I had one of mine just recently crap out. Uh, I had it for five plus years uh, and it, it just stopped working. So it's starting to get cold here in the area and it's time to put another heater on my, my system. So let's go ahead and open this up and get this out of the box. Hold on a second. Try to do this with one hand. Kind of hard to do. Alright, so the Acreon Pros have changed a little bit over the years. Um, they still incorporate that plastic. <laughs> By the time I get it out of the box, it's not going to work. I'm shaking it to death. But the new version of, the, of these, um, as opposed to the old version, the old version used to have an indicator light on them that would let you know that it's actually on. Uh, the new version only has just the thermostat, the top of it actually will glow red and let you know that the heater's actually heating, not that the unit's plugged in and, and still working. So, and as with any heater that you buy, they come with these. Now, I hate these things. These things are worthless to me, so in the trash they go where they belong. Hi, Remy. Remy's down here with me tonight. Okay, so the world famous uh, heater bracket, Flipper's heater bracket. I'm going to go ahead and get this on here and get this untangled real quick. Sorry about that. And we'll just take it and plop one in here. Put it in here. So I already looked at it. It looks like it's probably set close to 78 and that's where I keep my heaters at. I keep them at 78. And that's about where that one looks like it's sitting. Hard to see. Yeah, it's pretty close. And I'll just go ahead and flop this over here on this side of the sump. Get my cords all the way over, like so. Come over here. And find that cord. Tangled and plug it in. And this is where I got these heaters. I've got heater one, two, and three. Plug this puppy in. There we go. And now we have three heaters. So I've got I've got a 100 at the back, an old style, and I got a 150 in the center, and then I just put the 100 on on uh, on this side, the brand new one. So that's a total of 350 watts, and that should be more than enough to get me through the winter and keep the tank nice and stable at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty much it. Um, can't think of anything else I can talk about right now, but I just wanted to show you that um, I hate suction cups. And just a little bit of PVC work made me a nice little heater bracket and 
along with that, and I've said this time and time again, you really shouldn't submerge your heaters completely because those thermostats, these things right here, you know, they got little O-rings, and so over time they start to uh, leak. It's possible they can leak, and when they do, you get water intrusion, and that water gets in there and causes them to short out. And the worst thing that could ever happen would be to have one stick on. And this goes to prove that you really need redundancy with your heaters. You need to have smaller heaters wattage-wise in case one sticks on, the other ones will not kick on. It will give you time to react to your system and be able to, to find out what's going on and hopefully locate which one of the heaters that's malfunctioned, especially if it just staying on all the time. Otherwise, if you ran one large heater, like a 300 watt, uh, if it's stuck on, it could cook my system and actually drive the temperature up too high. Uh, I used to run an Inkbird on these, but I had really bad luck with Inkbirds. They, they would um, go out of calibration. I'd have to recalibrate them. The temperature would swing in them. I'd have to go back in and reset the ink bird. Um, it got to the point where I couldn't calibrate it anymore. It went so far out of uh, the preset value that I put in that I couldn't adjust it anymore, so I had to trash it. Hopefully the newer ones that are out on the market now are actually better units, but in my opinion, the best thing to put on your system would be obviously an Apex controller or an aquarium controller to to monitor your your heaters or to shut them on and off. Um, the other thing would be a Ranko, a Ranko industrial uh, thermostat. Uh, those are pretty good too. But other than that, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, the little short video that I got going on right now. And I'll see you guys over on Reef to Reef. Fins up.